hostile environment like that for the first time as a young player in a rivalry game, you're not sure what you're going to get. You got one of his best performances, I thought, of the season from what we've seen in his young career. I really liked his game, played really well, was a difference maker for his team. Let's see where that goes from here, but that's got to be a nice boost to confidence. Uh, one area I didn't like in this one. Got a jammed up phone board. James Sabalski taking you until the top of the hour. So let's get to it, people. We go to Rebecca or Becky, if you will, from Bayside. Is that okay? Yeah, I like it. Thanks, Sabalski. Thanks, D-Ball. You know what? I was impressed with the rookie. And it was a tight loss. Disappointing, sure. But you saw him all over the ice. I mean, that's the one that I was looking for. And that's the one that I kept hearing you call his name out. I thought he was really good. We're just seeing the little things that he does so well, right? I mean, he's setting up his teammates. He's got great vision across the ice. He's just always got his head up. Just really patient, and, and it might sound silly, but just well-mannered out there. I trust him. Yeah, no, I, I think there's there's a confidence, and you look at how the coaching staff has used him uh, already this season. And, and you know, this is like, okay, you bring him along slowly, but they earn that trust quickly. And right from the get-go, and look where he's at. He's been good, team's been good, kind of checked all the boxes, and, you know, look at the offensive production. Like, this has almost become an expectation now on a regular basis for what he's doing out there. Appreciate the call. Uh, still to come, we are going to have our one-on-one. -on -one. Now let's take a look at some of the rest of the action tonight in the NHL. The Red Wing. All right, let's take a look at some of the final scores in the league tonight. The Sharks were hoping to quiet the crowd on the road against the Stars. San Jose takes this one in a nail-biter. The Blues were hoping to play spoiler against the Jets. St. Louis pushes past in a tight one. They say you're gonna lose your mind in Detroit Rock City. Well, here we are in Detroit, Michigan, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Fans excited to see some of the top stars in the Eastern Conference go at it tonight. And in a high-scoring conference, they want to see some offers. They'll likely get it tonight as these teams are trying to battle for position in what is always a very competitive Eastern Conference. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. The Islanders start with possession as we are now underway. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Move to the middle. Right in the slot. And they can't connect. New York's across the blue line. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. And he connects with the long bomb. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. And that one's broken up. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Pulak. He carries the puck up along the wing. Schwartz setting up against the wall. Maintains possession. Here he is from the slot. He scores! Well, they wanted to jump out quick. Take away some of the home team's energy, and they've done that. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. New York's got the game's first goal, and it didn't take long. They wanted to attack quickly, and now that they're on the road and they've got the lead, they can dictate the pace. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Islanders lead it 1-0. New York's gained possession along the boards. The Islanders take possession here in the open ice. His reflexes on display tonight. Moves it to Mantha. Peters takes it across the line. Right to the middle. Nice pass. Oh, and it goes off the stick. Smothered that in close chance. Moves it quickly over to Eberle. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Slides it over to Ronick. Gains the zone from the right. Here's a short pass to Larkin. Stones him in front. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Sends a pass over. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Right in front of the net from point blank. Gives them nothing in front. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. The Red Wings really haven't taken many back steps this year. It's been a consistent, solid 
productive first half of the year. We'll see what the back half brings for them. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. New York's up one zip. The centermen glide into position. The Islanders will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, that was violent. Yeah, he hit him so hard, the people sitting right on the glass are going to sit up straight. They're scared, too. Tries to get the puck to Peters. Pokes it away in his own end. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. And now he angles it across to Mantha. The Red Wings have it in the offensive end. And he comes up with it. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. And he slides it quickly to Schwartz. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Pretty easy call to make, hooking right here. Well, he gets a stick around his waist, then he stops skating. It's almost like he's advertising for the penalty. Red Wings penalty to number 39, Anthony Mantha. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Past the midway mark of the frame, one nothing is where we sit at this point. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Pass across to Larkin. Not able to connect. The Islanders have it against the wall. Nice dish from the left wing. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Up along the wing. Quick pass to Peters. And there's the save. Nice job tying up his opponent. Takes the feed, moving in. Centering pass! Simple stop by Grice. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. And that's blocked! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Grice! Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's gonna squeak through. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall, trying to get back on the attack now. The Red Wings move the puck in the defensive zone. Now he takes it over the line. Moved into the middle! Here he is, wrists it on net! Turn that chance aside. Slides the puck to Larkin. Slides the pass over to Mantha. Quick feed to Ronick. Shot along the wall. Denies him with the save. Chance in front. Oh, and another big stop. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. In the final moments of this period, the Islanders have taken a 1-0 lead. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Red Wings grab possession to the puck. And he takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Red Wings win the faceoff. Drives it to the crease. He was locked in there. The Islanders will kill off a few extra seconds now. Gets it out of his own end. Detroit's got it behind the net. Angles it over to Peters. And that pass goes awry. Steps inside the line. Puts it to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Moves the puck along the half wall. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Made the stop on that play. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength.
Detroit's down despite numerous scoring opportunities here late in the first. The Red Wings win it. Puck grabbed by Mantha. Tosses it on to Peters. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Fires it! What a stop! One minute left. In Takes the feed, period. and he slides it quickly to Peters. Can't catch up to the pass. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice here. And the puck sails down to the far end of the ice, so go back to the defensive zone and try it again. Late goings of this period. New York's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. And here's the pass to Mantha. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Peters plays the puck. Here's a blast, and the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Peters gains the zone. A chance! Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. like to join our Insiders Club here tonight, you can get exclusive media-only access to upcoming press conferences. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. The Red Wings win the draw here in the neutral zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. Pulak's got the puck. Moves it to Marcel. Denies him in front. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Islanders are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Peters has it at center ice. Sends the pass over. Quick shot with the stop. Barlamov's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Scooped up along the wall by Pellick. Gets it over to Everly. Feeds the puck to Barzell. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the feed. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Handles the puck. Into the attacking end. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Here's an odd man rush. Centering pass. Here he is in front. Denies that opportunity. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. The Red Wings haven't had a lack of scoring opportunities, but they are still behind on the scoreboard. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Detroit's got it in the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Larkin. And now it's over to Peters. Here they are on the attack. Made the save on the play. Sends it quickly to Bailey. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. The Red Wings have it in the offensive zone. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Feeds the puck up to Bailey. The Islanders' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. They get it out of the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Bailey. The Islanders carry it along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Ronick. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Smart defensive play there. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Paddled away by Grice. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Stays with it. Quick pass to Peters. 
slides the puck over. Puts it in, and it's a short-handed goal! I wasn't expecting that, James. It didn't seem like they were going to be aggressive enough to get it, but there's a turnover and a quick play, and the short-handed goal is in. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. The Red Wings are back to center ice, and they have narrowed that gap. Cut the lead in half. The comeback's on. Now they must push forward, see if they can get the equalizer. Detroit's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. The Red Wings will play it against the boards. And he denied that opportunity. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Here's a shot. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Two minutes for tripping. Time to the penalty. Nine minutes. Past the halfway mark of this period. Detroit's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Puck clear from the defensive end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Man, they're back in their own zone again on the power play. They've got to be a little more urgent getting the puck up the ice and into the zone. They don't even have a shot on net on this power play. Detroit's looking to break out. And now he moves it to Peters. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. What a steal in his own end. Receives the pass. Sends it over. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would come from capitalize. They do a nice job there. Sweet feed there. The butterfly pass goes across and the shooter doesn't miss. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Larkins won the draw here in the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. Quick feed to DeKaiser. The Islanders have it from their own end. New York's got a hold of the puck. Slides it across, and he makes the save. Puck scooped up by Pulak. There's the whistle, penalty coming up. Larkin's getting called for tripping on the play. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's gonna have to go serve his minor penalty. Past the midway mark in this period. We are all tied up in this one. New York's won the draw. Here he is, shot right in front. Dismiss that chance. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Taken by Letty. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Larkin's already got one. His team's tied. He's looking for another. Stopped by the goaltender. The Islanders play it along the boards. Can't connect. New York's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Shot. Denies him again. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. And now he tries to get it across to Peters. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice as the puck goes out of play. New York's got it in their own zone. The Islanders take it along the wing. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Detroit's got the puck. Takes the pass. 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to Peters. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Back to the point it goes. And that goes off a player. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Forbort. Here's a chance right in the slot. Traps that puck tight into his chest. He doesn't need a whole lot of chances to finish, but when you're up among the league leaders, you get chances, you put them away. The setters will glide into the dot. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with childhood heroes. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Third period, we are all tied up, and the next goal could be a biggie. Moves it to Marcel. Oh, puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Ronick. Moves it quickly over to Mantha. And the puck skips away after that move. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. Well, so quickly after that great opportunity at the one end, the puck zips around to the other, and it's right back in this net. Detroit's gone ahead here by one in the third. What's the message now for the stretch run, Ray? To be aggressive. Too often teams sit back on their heels. They give up a chance. They give up a power play. Pretty soon it's an all-out scramble. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Everly. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Pellick. Across the line from center. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Lots of time left in this period. The Red Wings have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Puck picked up by Pulak. Excellent stick work on the play. Quick pass to Mantha. And he gains the zone here, and he regains control of the puck. New York's gained possession along the boards. Man, when you got two goals, it's your night. You want to look for a third one. He's got the puck in the offensive zone again. Turn that one aside. Larkin's offensive game is varied. He can score, he can pass, he creates for others, but he doesn't need much time to deliver his shot. He's among the league leaders in points because of that. Looks to pass it to Mantha. That pass doesn't go. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Red Wings take it across the line. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Still lots of time left here in this frame. 3-2 is where we're sitting. Larkins won the draw. Quick feed to Mantha. And he can't hang on after that hit. New York's got it in their own zone. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Peters is on the attack. Shot. Oh, what a slick stop by Varlamov. The Islanders take it along the wall. They've got numbers. The Islanders will play it against the wall. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Puck grabbed by Barzell. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. 
Let's get the call here. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Six minutes, 45. The Kings loom as the next date for these guys when they're back on the ice. You'd be surprised at how many players don't know the schedule. They just know the really? team they're playing tonight. Oh, yeah, and they don't know who's coming next. Moves it to Larkin. Across the line. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Moves it quickly over to Larkin. Slides it across to Peters. Here he is in close. Big save. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Sends it over to Chalowski. Here's a short pass to Schwartz. New York's got it along the wall. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. They've got the defense outnumbered. Stops him cold. Detroit's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Quick pass to Larkin. From the right side, they gain the zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Passes right to the front, and they can't connect. And now it's grabbed by Beauvillier. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Peters. Detroit's in now. Sends it across, and that's broken up with a stick in front. The Red Wings can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Larkin's become a 200-foot player. Coaches love to talk about guys that are effective at both ends of the ice. If you are, you'll be on this list of plus-minus leaders. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Islanders take it across the blue line. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. With some open space at center. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Here in the late going of the frame, Detroit's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck off the draw. Mantha's got it along the wing. Hangs onto the puck. A chance in front! Nice save from point blank range. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice poke check. Puts it in deep. Detroit's gained possession. The Kaiser's got it in the defensive end. Picked off! Comes up with the stop. Picked up along the boards by Stetcher. Now over to Mantha. Quick feed to Peters. Detroit's on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. Here's a chance. To his teammate. Turns it away. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Detroit's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Islanders have it behind the net. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Takes it to the front. Stick save by Grice. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. one here this evening. Ray is a guy who's got over 400 goals in the NHL. I would think in moments like this, it's just one giant collective exhale. You can't even believe how bad you feel, how embarrassed you feel when your team's on a long losing streak. And to have it come to an end is such a great feeling.
I mean, I don't know about you. I'm having a hard time kind of finding flaws in what we saw last night. Uh, I think all the armchair quarterbacks would be very satisfied and would play the game just the way it went out last night. I mean, another win for them uh, in a season that has been very good, very consistent. They seem to have found the tonic to play well game to game to game. And here they are again. They're one of their offensive leaders is the is the rookie. I mean, James, it's it's all the time with him. He's just been so good, and he throws a, a multi-point game up on the board, and they get another win. He continues to check the boxes. Uh, much more with Ray Ferraro in a moment. All right, let's go around the horn and see what happened elsewhere around the NHL tonight. The Islanders had an on-ice collision with the Red Wings. Detroit tightened it up late when they needed to most, and they pick up the two points. The Leafs were looking to steal two against the Bruins. Boston pile drove their competition with a big time win. The Flyers were looking to steal two points against the Sabres. 